Hello everyone on YouTube, main man Sui here. Hoping you're all doing awesome as always. And I'm hoping we're, we're gonna watch an amazing fight now. I don't get to do commentary very often, but any opportunity I get to do some cool commentary and watch amazing Tekken is very welcome to me. So recommended by my viewers, I have, by my trusted viewers, I have a fight here. It's a winner's finals of the EVO 2021 Online Asia East. So it's the, it was played just a few days ago. We have Lydia, as you can see, played by Gen, who is an incredible, incredible player from Japan. Yes. And he's going up against none other than Nightwish. No, it's uh, it's JDCR. I I'm thinking some of you don't know that he goes by them. Is he a huge Nightwish fan? If he is, I love him even more. <laughs> so corny, yet so awesome. Uh, so we have JDCR going up against him, and he's the winners in the winners finals. He is a huge fan. I love it. I love it. Uh, and he's playing uh, Armor King, none other than Armor King. So this is going to be really, really cool. Against him, but here we have an Armor King. Anytime he plays, uh, are we, oh God, we're too Gen's loud. Sorry, Lydia. that voice is like so knives into my Lydia ears. From, uh, in the, um, in the Mamba and, Cup. Any, so, uh, I'm excited. Guys, to see can, can you be silent for two seconds? Thank you. So, anytime I get a chance to see him play either Armor King or Ahachi, it's like Christmas. Uh, compared to his staple. Uh, a lot of people love his Dragonov, but uh, that character is nowhere near as exciting as uh, Armor King and Heiachi, in my opinion. Uh, and I feel that it's cool to see Lydia. She's uh, the coolest uh, DLC character, original DLC character. Maybe outside of Leroy when it comes to the visuals, but her gameplay is 10 times more interesting than Leroy's gameplay. And she certainly seems much more balanced, even though a lot of top players are now saying she is potentially, you know, uh, SS tier. Probably due to her doing well in a lot of tournaments, but I, I'd rather think it's due to people still being quite unfamiliar with the matchup. Uh, but Gen, uh, as you can see, doing really well, very cleanly took the first round, and second round here is looking like, yeah, a closed, uh, um, what, closed case? What do you say in English? Uh, a sealed deal. Uh, so immediately he's up two rounds to zero, and JDCR looks like he is struggling, but uh, JDCR... Uh, quite often takes his time, plays very calmly the first rounds, and pretty much analyzes the opponent and then completely creams them. So we'll see if this is one of those matches. Interesting that he did a Shining Wizard, even ran for a bit, and Gen did not break it. As a, yeah, okay. Uh, got completely destroyed there in the first match. Uh, well done by Gen. A closed affair. Thank you, Risky. Um, I, I don't know why that slipped my, my, my head. And now it's the uh, online uh, tournament. Uh, what, what do you call it? I, I don't like this layout, you know, where they play a match and then suddenly here are the two commentators and they have to fill the time. So we go for some casual chat for like 10 minutes while we wait for the next fight. God, I gotta say, Evo wasn't even on my radar this year. I watched Evo religiously, but I, I didn't watch a single uh, match uh, live. On, this is the first Evo match I'm watching. If it's not offline, with the players physically there, sweating, staring at each other, it's, it's, not, on, it's not Evo to me. Really interesting to see because uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna skip the, the talk and we're gonna go to the second match. So we left the wall. This is so interesting. JDCR lost the first match and he had the wall break stage, which favors Armor King by far, I would say. But he wants an infinite stage because he wants breathing room, he wants to be able to move. Which is, of course, one of the uh, big things about Armor King, is that his incredible range and his incredible whiff punish. So if you have great movement, like JDCR, you can really capitalize on this character. Which is, of course, is what you've seen him do ever since, like, uh, Tekken 6. Very nice, that's gonna kill. Finally gets a round. 
So this is the winner's final. So this is going to be a best of five, right? Yes. He's a defensive player, says Flawless. Slocha in the chat. All top players are defensive players. Well, uh, all the top top players are are very defensive. Yeah, now just trying to outpoke him, trying to find his opening once again. Hey, Stone Cold Stunner, Stunner. Oh no, punish on the get up four. That's rare to see at this level of play. Oh, chain throw. Hey. Very nice. And chain throws, obviously. Armor King's chain throws were buffed uh, in the latest patch. Nice. Big hop kick. Nice. So that's the thing with Lydia. Everyone says she has enormous juggle damage, but not so much, you know, on uh, on hop kick. So it's much better to go for a a, set, a stand setup instead to try to get additional mix-ups. Oh, very nice. Political Storm. You gotta love that name. Absolutely. And now JDCR again not going out without a fight this time. JDCR still very oppressive. And JDCR is really struggling here. Very nice punish on the Hell Sweep. Delayed hop kick. Shining Wizard. Can we get some Oki down free? JD oh, JDCR was being so careful, didn't want to get counter it and still got counter it on the rage drive. Huge damage, nice sidestep, down for one with punish. Very nice. Now, mm -hmm. this is important to point out. And that 4 4 2 that he just whiff punished, it's still really hard to whiff punish, right? It's easy to sidewalk left, but she recovers so quickly. You gotta be so fast, even uh, on a whiff there. He's wanted Armor King for so long, he's gotten him, and you know, he had to get to go through some changes. But now Do you keep saying. Shining Wizard instead of Power Bomb on purpose. Oh, you mean uh, when he did the air throw? Yeah, that's his Shining Wizard. It's called Shining Wizard. And you can't really call it a Power Bomb either. If you want to be wrestling technical, King does a running Power Bomb. But what Armor King does... It's the Jaguar main in his is that even a move in uh, in wrestling, in pro wrestling? No, it's not. You couldn't do that. He holds them on straight arms, and he runs and jumps and slams them into the ground. Yeah, I want to see uh, <laughs> anyone do that as a finisher. You probably kill your opponent. It's in Shining Wizard to be running like it. Now, Shining Wizard is any... Uh, Running fro. Even Lars running fro is called Shining Wizard. Running two plus four. Alright, so we have one one. as you mentioned, Lydia does have amazing wall carry, but the And now we have Jet oh, super sick crouch council dark upper. And now he's Terrible ender, though. Once more. You do not want to be in that situation. Ooh, almost a huge dark upper there. Exactly. Nice counter it. This should be wall and huge damage. Opt for shoulder. Goes for the stunner, but uh, Gen blocked the stone cold stunner. But it, the stone cold stunner is safe on block, though. Uh, I don't, I don't think even Steve Austin has a safe stone cold stunner. So Armor King's kind of cool here. Just so good at starting this momentum. Political storm. He's been so good at confirming. Political he's storm. Uh, Holy outfit. shit. JDCR now again. King of movement. Just wants to be able to approach on his terms. Now he has to look for more. Gen is so aggressive. Poke him out here, but Gen is slowly pushing him to the other side of the wall. Wall bounce coming in. Oh man. Oh, he didn't even go for the full commit to the full strength. But uh really nice combo either way. Are we gonna see a huge comeback? He just needs the walls. Oh, what? No punish on the rage drive. Oh my god, the blocks. Damn. Oh. Did he fucking teabag JDCR? 
Did he fucking teabag him right into his jaw? Did he bag his mouth? I am sorry. We need we need that. We're gonna go to instant replay. We need an instant replay. My God, he's bagging the shit out of him. Holy shit. Shady Star is probably pissed now. He's pissed now. Oh, you, oh, you don't want to get teabagged and then lose for a round after that. But again, you don't want to teabag and then get completely smoked either. There's the most pressure on the teabagger here, I feel. So Gan really needs this round. Ah, oh, teabag again. <laughs> That's a teabag a second time. It would be too much. JDCR just got teabagged. I wonder if that affects his mental game. Oh my, Gan is so aggressive. It's hard to even commentate on this match because it's it's just so furiously fast. Oh, he blocked this. That's the day one setup everyone did, and he just pulled it off on one of the best players in the world. Wow, fucking teabagged him and then closed it out super easy. I wonder how confident JDCR feels in this matchup. And he again opts for infinite stage. He's going to show us again here in this game. Yeah, and as you mentioned, you know... Uh, yeah, but Ducky, the green screens are amazing. Reminds me of like uh, sci-fi channel movies from 1992. Someone should tell these commentators, uh, com commentators, it's 2021 now. It's not 1992, please. Uh, but JDCR starts out quite all right this round here, although now it's very, very close. Ah, 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 oh, nice backswing blow. Oh, Chris is streaming. He wants to steal my viewers. Stone Cold Stunner. We got a stunner. Back out. He broke him in half. We got a stunner. That was a stunner. Why didn't he teabag after the Stone Cold Stunner? Perfect opportunity to assert dominance. No punish on the whiff top kick. My god! Again, very even huge block. Big while standing for. Takes the round. 2 0 to JDCR, making some great adjustments. 2 1 into headbutt, which is broken. To find a single opening on JDCR with the movement combined, that's crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at JDCR. Great spacing. The political storm. Yeah, but the, yeah, this looks like a round Gan is going to take. Although. Uh, he just doesn't give a shit. How many times has he just thrown that out? My god, he looks like a fucking green rank that has just picked up uh, Lydia, but apparently that's super good. That's super spammable. And he hit, con yeah, he confirms it. That's what he's doing. Political spam. Yes, Ducky. Yeah. That's a good word for it. It's like politicians on Twitter. You just you just can't get enough of it. Edge! Oh, one HP left. Ali kick to close it out. It's very easy confirmable. Wow, so it's super good. Yeah, I know it's it's guaranteed after the guard break. It's just that he was throwing it in the neutral so much. But he's just trying to get it to hit. I guess it's safe and you can confirm it uh, on hit. So it's super good. I mean, look, look at his hair, the guy to the left. It looks drawn. It's look, It looks like, aha, take on me. The way Will you shut up, Hellas Groupman? 
Fuck you too. One more month for a year watching you has not only made my love for the game grow but also got Divine Ruler with Jin because of your game play. Keep up the awesome content and I look forward to a year. Thank you so much, Abyss. I really appreciate it. I'm very happy you enjoy the content. And uh, thank you for helping out for 11 months. Thank you. Yeah, that sub notification always, it always chooses that one when it wants to interrupt me for some reason. Uh, so dear lord, it's 2-2 two, two now. Dear lord. JD... To the wall this is very uh wow not good for him, dude. oh god that's safe even if he does the fourth hit it's safe gan looking really strong here strong poking political storm political storm man that move seems so spammable huge dark upper this is gonna be wall he's gonna go for ground throw no down to four free what's for breakfast while standing four Chain throw, is he gonna break it? Yes, Gan gets the break. Boom, down for two. Down two, down three. Great poking by JDCR. Everything connected. Got every mix up. So this match is super even. 2-2 two, two in matches and 1-1 one, one in rounds. Look at those pokes adding up for Armor King. Nice punish. Boom, sweep, forward, forward, free, guaranteed. Yeah, but uh, so far, yeah, the return came from Gen. Now, Gen with a slight life lead, and now continue. Oh my God! Oh! JCR, look at that hop kick out of nowhere. Very uncharacteristic. What is her demo man called? Yeah, but political so far, man. Yeah, but she's a woman's now, political women's. And now continuing wow. on, gets the bound, birds and the beats, and continue. Ah, that's just disgusting. The wall bounce so good from Gen. Now JDCR Oh, big counter hit. It's gonna be wall. Oh, recognized the side angle and knew that he needs a shining wizard to get damage. That's when you know someone's been playing Armor King for 55 years. Oh, clutch low parry. How much damage is this gonna be? He won't get a wall. Goes for the mix up. Nice block by Armor King uh, or JDCR, I mean. Oh, nice block. Beautiful. Probably, Patrick. Most likely. Oh, chain throw. Is he gonna get it? Oh, here we go. It's got buff damage. What's for Oki? Down free while she's grounded. Dirty JDCR. It's a political storm. Nice block on the get up free. My god, it's so even. Look at this. Even in health, even in rounds, even in matches. But now, again, got a decent life lead. Huge block of. Oh, no. <laughs> and the fuck you bow to close it out. <laughs> the most disrespectful bow of all time. Lydia's bow in Tekken. I mean, I think they put it in as a an anti-taunt, like a sign of respect. Everyone just uses it to go, fuck you. You're free. Fuck off. Wow. He beats Lord JDCR. And for good measure, throws in a tea bag. And the fuck you bow. That's amazing. Uh, but what great match. Uh, and JDCR, you, you gotta understand that when he plays characters like Armor King and God... I mean, I'd love to see him play Yachi. I would pay money to see him play Yachi. I, I said earlier on the stream, like, if you had a GoFundMe, like, um, a donation goal, like, $2,000 and I play Heihachi in my next tournament, no matter what... I would contribute money towards that just because I love seeing him play the character. But, uh, but and apparently he said on a stream that he's contemplating perhaps playing Heiachi in the next tournament. But I don't think he's going to do it just because Heiachi is so flawed. 
And Armor King is also, not, not as much as Ayachi, but Armor King is also a flawed character. So you really have to give him an applause just for playing these characters. And he almost won this match. And against a DLC character that is still very fresh. Uh, so JDCR is awesome. Uh, it would have been nice to see him win this match. And fuck again for teabagging the one dude who always sticks to the characters he likes. I mean, he's played fucking Ram a little bit, but other than that, he, he's been playing consistently for a hundred years now, Dragonov, Heihachi, and Armor King. And then well, who, who does Gen play? What? Lydia, prior to that, it was most likely Leroy. So fuck off with that shit, Gen. Yeah, respect to JDCR. Uh, but well played, uh, both of these players. It, it was an excellent set.